Hey guys, it is Christy K and I am back with an updated video of my favorite brushes. Um, I was like going through my channel the other day and I realized that it's been about four years since I did a video about my favorite brushes. And some of these are still like my OGs. They still stay the same. There are some new additions. Um, things have changed. Like I do my makeup different. It's a whole different vibe. I'm going to link that video if you're curious to see what I was using before. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and get started on what I'm using currently. Most of these brushes are not going to run you a whole lot of money. I got a lot of brushes. Some of them are more expensive than others, but most of them are really affordable. And they get the job done. And some of them I've had since that video. And they're still here. Let's get into this video. I'm going to start with the OG, my, or my Morphe M439. It don't say nothing on it anymore. But this thing, this is actually still this. This thing is still rocking with me. It's been rocking with me forever. And I'm never going to stop using this brush. Like when this one dies, I will buy a new one because it does what I need it to do. Then I take this Luxie 550 brush right here. And I usually take this little stippling brush to do one of two things. Depends on what brush I can find. Because that's another thing about me. I just use whatever's in front of me. I use this brush when I am either putting on primer and I don't want to use my hands. Or I'm buffing out like a cream contour or um, a cream bronzer this one right here for sure is for my cream contour because contour is darker this one is like very fluffy like very dense and it gives a more flawless airbrush finish this is my lexi 610 flat sculpting brush this is my real technique this is a multitasker brush i usually use this for when i'm setting my face with a pressed powder like at the end, like I have on a little bit of pressed powder right now and I use this for pressed powder because I want it light. I don't want to have too much shine on my face, but it gives me just enough coverage and just enough shine. All right, this is my Morphe E63. This is a newer brush. This came out with their foundation. This is for like my sheer coverage look like today. I have like a sheer coverage. So this is what I use to buff it out and to give more of just a skin and glow within look. This Morphe right here is more full coverage. It, it gives a different look. So natural, flawless V. This is my Morphe E48. I use this to press in my powder when I'm not doing any baking or anything like that. I just literally dab into my setting powder and I just put it underneath my eyes and the areas of my face that I want to set. This is my Morphe E4. I use this for, um, my contouring. I use it to like put my light contour and then my deeper contour to sculpt my face. And then this is my Morphe E3 right here. And what I do with this, this is just for my blushes. Moving on, this is an e.l.f. blending brush. But I use this for my bronzer. Like on today, the day where I didn't really sculpt with the cream, I just put some bronzer on. I dip into this to warm up the areas of my face because it's thick and it's dense enough. Then this right here is a crown brush. It's generic. Um, they have good brushes. They're really inexpensive. I use this for my blush when I'm doing cream blush. Like today, I did a cream, a cream blush. I did a clean. <laughs> today I did a cream blush and this just blended everything in like really beautifully and like soft and just blended in with my skin. This one right here is my M164 and this is for a cream nose contour. It's really thin and so it's like you can hit these spots. You can tell baby been with me for a while. I have another one somewhere. This is my Morphe M310. I use this for my highlight. And then this is my Anastasia A23. Now I did have to get another one of these, but this one is still holding on. And I use this, I feel like I kind of get a smoother blend from this one sometimes but then on <laughs> this Anastasia one I feel like it's small enough because sometimes when you are using a highlighter like depending on this depending on the size of the container it might not fit but this will actually this will fit in everything and give a nice buff out sometimes I'll use them together I'll apply with this one and then I'll just like buff out with that one and then I'll even just like use my hand for the finish that I want now we're gonna get into some more detailed brushes this is my Morphe E20. This is my concealer brush. Um, these days, I do more of my concealing with a brush. I let it sit for like a minute and then I buff it out with this because I feel like I get more coverage. If I do have some lines, I'll finish with a blender. 
this is a Real Techniques tapered foundation brush. And I use this brush for one of two things. I use it if I have foundation and I'm being lazy and I'm just gonna like blend it out like this, just pull it all out and then finish with my blender or I just use it for primer. This is my holy grail. This is my Royal Inlay Nickel. It's a concealer brush. But you see this little thing right here? It's perfect for the contours of your nose. So I will forever contour with this brush. Um, I actually need to buy a backup. I love it that much. It is the one. This is a Royal and Lane Nickel brush, um, a lip brush. I use this to line my lips and make sure like some lip colors like don't go outside of my lips. That's not a liquid lipstick because occasionally I do wear regular lipsticks. Like right now, I got on a regular lipstick. I'm wearing Juvia's Place Lady. Just a regular, regular, schmegular lipstick. And then this is one of my favorites. This is a Real Technique concealer brush. When I can't find my big fluffy concealer brush, I will use this one to fluff out. Or I'll use this for underneath my eyes when I conceal underneath my eyebrow, like this space right here. I'll use that to buff out the concealer so that there is no transition between my eye primer and the concealer. All right, this is my Morphe E23. I just usually take this when I'm being lazy and putting a bronzer in my crease because it just buffs out everything. It's just like real smooth, it's big enough, it's like a one and done. These are my Morphe from the Rose Gold Collections. She's a, I don't even know what this say is. Okay, so this is the E33, and I don't know what this is because it doesn't say anymore. They're so soft, they're so fluffy, and they give me, they blend out my crease the best. Like, I get new crease brushes, but you know how you break something in and they just work so good? That's why I still use it. This is a Morphe E22. And I use this one for like detailing like in the corner of my eyes, like when I just wanna hit it right here and pack some color in right here. I'll do this for the pack in and kind of blend it out cause it'll keep things in place and still give me that crease buff. So for underneath the eyes, like today was really, really detailed. So I use like a pointy brush and this is a Sigma pencil brush. This is the E30 for precise underneath the eye. Like it's an eyeliner, this is perfect. Second best thing is a Morphe E36. Um, it's not as precise, but it's really soft. So it blends out and it gives like a soft look underneath the eye. This is the Morphe E18. It's the same kind of thing. However, it's bigger so you can apply more color underneath the eye. Like if I took this and dip it, I would have more of a smoky eye, but today is like a no lashes, a natural day. So today would not be a day that I wanted to use this because there would be too much happening underneath my eye. We are down to the, the nitty gritty end of the line. So this is Elise Wadier. Oh my God, I don't know. I got this from Namie's years ago. But I use this for my glitters and my pigments and my um, liquid eyeshadows because it gives the best finished it gives you the most pigment it's just really a rubber applicator and i feel like a lot of brands have it but when you just glide across with that it gets the most color payoff you don't lose no color it doesn't take anything out of it for my lids when i want to pack on color there is the morphe 167 it's great to just like kind of pack it on and slide it down and then there is the sigma medium sweeper the E54. This is pretty much the same thing except it's a little bit more fluffy and it's way more expensive. And okay, so this is my BH Cosmetics concealer brush. And like I was saying, I use concealer underneath my eyebrows. I use this one to shape underneath. And then when I'm done shaping, that's when I take this one and I buff right here in between with this one. This one is perfect. It's not too big. It's not too little. It's just enough. This is a BH brush too, I believe. It's just a pointed brush and what I use this for is like the eyeliner hack. Like if you're not strong with your wing game or your top eyeliner, you dip this either in like black or brown. And you take it and you just dot it alone. And then also it's easier too if you lift your lash line because when you lift your lash line, you can pack it on and when you close it, it's gonna go tighter. So it won't be too big and it'll just give you like the perfect line underneath. Give you the perfect line while you're learning how to do it last two brushes for my brows both of these are in my last video they have still hung in here there with me this is my anastasia beverly hills this is the 7b it's little but it's fine i'm small my hands are little i use this for my dip brows dip brow and pomades and stuff like that 
gets it done really thin hair strokes and then this is my bodyography pro this is for my powders um, I have oily skin so what I have to do is set my brows with a powder or the shine will come through this time I'm gonna include sponges so this is my elf concealer sponge this thing holds a lot of water probably my least favorite thing about it the elf concealer sponge is super soft it is one of the softest drugstore sponges on the market and I use this to blend out my concealer when I'm when I'm using an actual beauty blender for that. This is my Riri sponge, my Fenty sponge, and I love this sponge for the angle because again, like when I'm blending out concealer right here, I just feel like this flat angle hits it much better. You know, this is a holy grail, the original beauty blender. I still feel like nobody does it better. Nothing feels like this. So we will always use these. And then last thing, actually two more things the last sponge this is my real technique sponge and this sponge is awesome because i can dip this straight into my setting powder and just apply it here and like let it sit and it's perfect because now i don't have to use this sponge and that they're two totally different things and i don't gotta worry about cleaning this off tomorrow when i want to set my under eyes and so the last thing that i do you guys is this is a beauty blender i forgot the name of it what is this beauty blender thing called but I take this and I pat in my powder, just like on that. But I take this side right here to press it in and smooth it and set my face with it because I'm not actually baking. Whatever is left off, I use this and I press it in and it just gives like a flawless finish and it keeps the oils from coming up in my skin. That is all that I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about any of these brushes, please feel free to ask me any questions if you try them leave some comments below if you're not subscribed already make sure you hit that subscribe button thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video Mwah.